Hi, I'm Dave Gray, um, and I'm the author of a book called The Connected Company. So Dave, what is your book about? I was, uh, well, uh, the rise of social networks and uh, technology uh, and the volatility in the business environment has got to a point where I think many organizations uh, are becoming aware that they can't keep up um, with the pace of the environment. And uh, so I started to search for um, you know, what is the next generation of companies going to look like? And my thesis was that there are companies out there that are already doing the things that companies are going to need to do to uh, operate in a faster, more flexible, uh, more agile way. And uh, so I started to search for them and find them the organizations that were that were figuring this stuff out and uh, with the hope that we could learn from them and with the hope that I could sort of create kind of a, a napkin sketch of the next uh, the 21st century organization. What is common to the organizations that get it right? Uh, well, they're, uh, they're very feedback driven, so they, they stay close to the environment. They, um, they actively seek feedback from customers and partners and you know anyone else in their environment. Um, they tend to be uh, they tend to be very good at distributing control. So um, they they push control uh, out to the um, the edge as much as possible. Um, and they they often in order to do that they they often have to be networked organizations. How does one build a culture that supports all this? Oh wow. <laughs> Well, uh, you can. I think it's. I think the companies that have started from scratch have a much better have it much better than the companies that are already large organizations that need to transform. Um, the uh, you know it has a lot to do with uh, hiring practices and getting the right people in the first place. But then it also has to do with imbuing. Um, well, every company is different. So, uh, but I think in general, a networked organization uh, requires. Uh, something that uh, is something that people call responsible autonomy. So you push uh, authority and responsibility out to the uh, edges of the organization, but with that authority comes responsibility. And so when you don't have that, you have things like, um, you know, where we had the, um, what was the, what was the uh, insurance company that had to, uh, well, you can have you can have problems where you have a small team that may have a lot of autonomy, but also is able to take on much more risk than a small team should be able to take on. And you have, if you're not careful, you can have a small group that putting being able to put the entire company at risk. If you are, uh, um, if you are manager of a small team, what the are AIG some of the things? AIG is the company that I was thinking of. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, if you are the manager of a company. Uh, if you are a manager of a small team, mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you can do to uh, get those cultural elements right? I mean, oh, if you're in, and a, how do you describe culture? You mean what if you're it? in an organization that's that's more bureaucratic and more rigid, and you're trying to you you want to try and start to to break it a little bit? Is mm -hmm. that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. um, I think if you're no matter where you are, you can start to make moves. Uh, I think uh, if you're in a large organization, one of the first things you can do is start to um, do something that I would call network weaving, which is start to uh, f find a way to form connections with other parts of the organization. Um, another thing you can do, I know, I know someone at uh, Marriott who was in charge of the whole, an internal department. They, they worked on the websites. And um, she simply took, uh, she simply took a, organi her organization, which was very task oriented. So people would come and uh, you know, they would check out a skill and use that person's skill for a short period of time and then check them back in, kind of like a library. Um, but she reorganized them. She, she tore down the cubicle walls. Um, she reorganized the group by um, kind of practice area. So there was a, a group in charge of, for example, the reservation experience. And those people were a cross-disciplinary team that was able to work on and think about larger issues. And she worked to build relationships with the departments that were her customers to um, help them to work with them to figure out what was the best way for her to serve them or serve their needs and uh, people were, were very happy in fact one of the um, one of her success metrics was uh, her customers instead of referring to to uh, people by their job title started to actually call them by name 